What's up, you guys? I'm here with a new video today, and here being guys a new discussion on will dimensional barrier basically define the next format. I say this because we already know that we are only a couple weeks away from Raging Tempest being dropped here in the TCG, and with it comes the release of Zodiacs, probably one of the most anticipated and probably one of the most like scary decks to come out in Yu-Gi-Oh! in a long time. A lot of people have already said they feel this deck is going to be tier 0, that it's going to be just so powerful that playing any other deck would be incorrect. And it's crazy to me that, uh, you know, after all the decks we've gone through, Dragon Rulers, Full Power Pepe, uh, you know, just to name a couple, Full Power Cosmos, all that stuff, that there are still these crazy decks that have yet to be, you know, uncovered here in the TCG. We watched what it's done in the OCG. If you guys follow Yu-Gi-Oh! organization, you guys would see that basically every deck out there is Zo Zodiacs in one way or another. It's either pure Zodiacs, Kaiju Zodiac, Koi uh, Zodiac Noid, Zodiac anything, basically. And it's basically all because of Malmarat being able to surge, being able to Foolish. Like, it's just crazy. Tenkis can surge everything. And the deck is really going to, you know, leave its mark here when it, you know, when it arrives. People even think there's going to be an emergency ban list for it. I don't think that's going to be the case. I just feel that the deck is going to be very powerful and that people are really going to have to prepare to play against it. So I'm here to talk about probably one of the most influential cards, uh upon release, uh, and that's Dimensional Barrier. Of course, we all had our our mindset when this uh, Invasion of Vengeance came out, we either want Toad or Barrier. We don't really want anything else. People who wanted to play Toad got their Toads. People who wanted to play, get Barriers got Barriers. And now Barrier, uh, if you guys watched uh, John's latest Market Watch, is sitting at about 58 to $60 a piece. Uh, and for good reason, this card, I feel, is really going to influence next format. Um, a ban list is coming soon, so we don't actually know what's going to happen, but I know for sure there is no possible way they would limit or ban this card early on because this card is going to be very intricate in next, year, uh, next format. This card basically is your out to Zodiacs. Being able to just call XYZs completely stops them from playing, and that alone is powerful by itself. Not only that, we are only actually several days away from the release of the DDD Structure Deck, this is also another card you can use to combat that deck, since that deck has pretty much the access to every summoning mechanic. You do have the ability to call pendulums, you do have the ability to call fusions, you do have the ability to call synchros on them, depending on what the situation calls for. Now granted, DDDs are in a class of their own because they can do so many different things with their monsters that you know you do, you actually have to be very careful what you call because you may shut off their pendulum mechanic, but if they're not trying to pendulum and they're trying to XYZ or they're trying to fusion, you really have to prepare for that. So I feel that this card will definitely definitely be a staple. I honestly feel it could go in the main deck. I feel a lot of decks are going to veer towards maining it, and if they're not maining it, it'll definitely be in the side. That's one of the reasons I highly suggest you pick these cards up now, because once the format establishes itself and everyone realizes that Barrier is one of the best main decks out to Zodiacs, I feel the deck is really the card is really going to spike in price. Uh, another thing is that I feel that this card alone will define the format, because DDDs, Zodiacs, every other deck is already out there, already gets hit by Dimensional Barrier. If you've watched ABCs, watching them flip barriers on each other in the mirror is disgusting, it's crazy, and that's what Zodiacs are going to be like. You flip barrier on the mirror and, you know, they pass their turn and then you get a chance to fight back. And I feel that that's exactly what's going to happen in, in this next format, whether you're playing Zodiacs or not. There's always, oh, there's also the Wicked Witch artifacts. I don't actually know that much about that deck. I'm sure in one way or another, barrier hurts that deck or they're going to be maining barriers. Everyone says that is the deck that is built to counter Zodiac, so it'll be interesting to see what that deck ends up doing upon release in Raging Tempest as well. But I just wanted to bring this to your guys' attention, and I'd like you guys in the comments to discuss, do you feel Dimensional Barrier will define the format in the sense that it will be a staple card at 3 in the main deck or, or side deck like it already is now? And if so, why? Do you feel that there are better options to counter Zodiac? I know people are talking about Chain Disappearance and other cards like that. I have Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit as well. I feel that Dimensional Barrier is just one of those cards that have, since it's a trap, I feel it's just something that people are going to play because it is, in a sense, a pseudo Vanity's Emptiness and a pseudo Skill Drain. And honestly, who doesn't want to play Skill Drain and Emptiness in a deck at three if you can? 
I know that that's a crazy like kind of way to explain it, but honestly, if you look at the card and the way it works, it really does play like those two cards in one. So I feel this card is definitely going to influence the format, and I'd like to know what you guys think. If you want to see more discussions like this, be sure to smash that like button. 50 plus likes will include more discussions. If there are cards you'd like me to cover, be sure to let me know. Be sure to hit me up on social media. All my links are down below and at the end of my outro. Be sure to just hit me up, and I'll definitely bring them uh, to your attention in videos here on the channel in the future. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to leave a like, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.